5-1, a long way away from home. Did you see that coming? Um, not 5-1, no. Uh, did I see the three points coming? Yes. Um, I think that we've uh, built up a lot of confidence with our recent form. Four wins out of the last five matches before today. And uh, starting to build and uh, see a lot of confidence in people um, all the way around, on and off the pitch, in the squad. And we come here today with a lot of belief. And, as I say, the, the, the scoreline has surprised me in one way, but not in the way it, it really could have been more. And it's not been... Yes. You know, silly. We we've played some wonderful football uh, today. Wonderful football. We're sharing our goals around. We've got a very young team. We've got players getting goals from all areas of the field. You know, you've seen Robinson score today from midfield. You've yeah. seen Quigley score. You've seen Almond get a cut ball. And you've seen Bruno Andre get one. You know, um, we're playing some good stuff at the moment. That's for sure. Yeah, and uh, I don't know if people can hear on this, but it's pouring with rain here. First half was very, very windy and we had the wind behind us. Did we get a bit of luck with the wind dropping in the second half? I look at both ways, David. I think that sometimes the wind can help you and sometimes, you know, the ball holds up but they're chasing the game and those balls, you know, what go out when you've got the elements, tend to stay in when you haven't. But what they couldn't live with us, though, was the movement yeah. and the one-touch football. It was of the ice stand and some of the balls that went across the box uh, and we bit the woodwork in the first half. We've had... Many chances though, we've created a lot. I'd go as far as to say the second half away from home was probably the best 45 minutes I've seen in the five years at Woking Football Club uh, away wow. from home. It was, it, it was special, you've witnessed it, yeah. but you see the quality and the way the ball was moving around out there. It was of a very, very high standard on very, very tricky conditions. Yeah, and uh, first half, going back to that, Dan Holman took the goals really smartly, didn't he? Oh, he, he's a top striker. He's a player who's got, uh, you know, left out in the cold at Colson, not figuring part of their plans. Had three loan periods last year. We get him going. We get him going. He's coming in. He's getting a lot of goals. He's enjoying his football at the moment. He needs to play. But, you know, I thank Colson as well for, you know, giving us the opportunity uh, by fetching him on loan. And we'll see what comes out of the pitch going forward. And uh, th there's a number of players on loan, obviously. The transfer window opens fairly soon after the next game. Do you look forward to the transfer window, or is there a bit of trepidation about it? I think I see a picture, uh, a bit of both, really. Yeah. Uh, you know, I want to move players out, move players on. Uh, that's football. I might have circumstances and positions taken out of my hand with one or two of those loanies. Yes. You know, I've done the utmost to talk uh, to those players. I've also talked to my utmost to the parent clubs. They've all been very, very supportive. Um, we'll see what comes out of it. But, you know, I'm, a, I'm aware of positions and situations. I think everybody is. But I'll go and find another one or another two if I have to. Everyone knows that. I've, Absolutely. You know, tend to be able to do it over the years. But, like I say, we would like to keep all our loan players together with what we've got and add one or two more players uh, to push on second half of the season because we find ourselves only six points off the playoffs now yep. after horrendous injuries at the start of the season uh, a disastrous run of results where we weren't getting a settler side through injuries and younger players coming in and buying in to trade uh, this level of football all of a sudden they've worked very very hard ball into it all of a sudden we find ourselves with seven players 22 years of age and yep. under in the team we're getting results we're beating teams with very, very good score lines at the moment. 5 1 here at Gateshead, 4 1 against Tranmere Rovers, 3 1 against Lincoln City, 1 away up at Chester City. Went to Borenwood last week in the trophy after being 1 0 down and 1. Yeah. We're certainly showing a lot of character and a lot of uh, positives about things that are, are going on at the moment. Absolutely. And as the famous saying goes, funny old game after that period of a month or so where we were a bit down in the dumps, weren't we? Well, we were short, we were short, we were short in a big way. There's no secret about it. Yeah. We were playing players out of position and, um, you know, we had to have players sometimes who were not 100% fit taking part. You know, that's where we are financially, that's where we are as a club, yeah. uh, in the sense there. But, you know, it was only three and a half, four weeks ago that I received a, a text from uh, Ian Nicholson, yeah. uh, one of the directors on the board, and he turned around and texted We've had our good times, we'll work on our bad. And I texted him back and said that five weeks won't match five years and we'll be in the top ten going into Christmas. And he sent that text round to everybody. Mm -hmm. Not a problem to me. I don't usually make statements like that. I said, not a problem. Five years is not swapped for five weeks, but we will no, be no. in the top ten at Christmas. Where are we tonight? 
I don't know. Top 10. Top ten. <laughs> Have a nice Christmas. Of course, of course. <laughs> Thank you very much. Can I just get your thoughts very briefly, because yeah. I know we need to go, um, on Boxing Day, all the shot yeah. away? Tough. Very, very tough. League form don't come into it. Uh, derby games are very, very tough. I think they've gone through a bad spell recently. I think they've got a lot of good players. I've seen one or two of their games. I've had one or two of their games watched. And they're probably very similar to ourselves. And I think the same as a lot of clubs in this league, that uh, you can go on a good spell, you can have a bad spell. But you have to come through it. We've yeah. certainly come through it for sure. Sure. Well, have a wonderful Christmas, Gary. Are you going to yep. have your grandchildren around you? Got them all round, yes. Fantastic. Looking forward to Christmas Day. And uh, I'll say, looking forward to Christmas in a big, big way. And even more so going into the Christmas period now. Offer a wonderful win up here at Gates at by five goals to one. Wonderful. Thanks for your time. Time, mate. Cheers.